to import bank statements, we first need to select the bank statement import format. The format you require is often based on the region you're using Business Central in. For example, in most European countries and regions, SEPA is the format of choice, whereas in the United States, InvestNet and Yodli is used. To specify a bank statement import format, you'll need firstly to go to the bank account card that will be using the bank feed service. We use our operating one as an example here. Under the transfer tab, there's a field called bank statement import format, but we can specify the format we wish to use. In terms of setup, that's all that's necessary. To then import a bank statement into a bank reconciliation, we'll go to the bank account reconciliations. Well, I have one set up already. We've specified the bank account number, the statement date, and the balance last statement. With these uh, ready to go, we can then look at importing the file using the import bank, bank statement action, which we can find under bank here, import bank statement. Selecting to do this will ask you to select a file to import from which we can use choose, which will open up your file explorer where you can specify the file you wish to upload. When this is done, Business Central will automatically import the lines into the bank statement lines fast tab and automatically match them. You can choose to override the suggested applications or choose not to automatically match entries. If you want to make an adjustment to how the entries are matched, you can use the match automatically function, which we find up here under matching. You can set a transaction date tolerance to specify how many days before or after a ledger entry posting date, Business Central will look to match transaction dates in a statement. For example, a value of zero or blank will instruct Business Central to only match exact dates. When you're happy, you'd hit OK, and all that can be matched will be, and the relevant applied fields will be checked, namely these fields here. If you wish to remove a match, you can simply select the bank statement line, go to matching, and select remove match.